everybody told him, well, hell, son, if you want cowboy boots, you got to go to Cavender's Boot City up on the highway there. So he got the he got the elder community to have a limousine take the take the people out on excursions. He got them to run them up the cabiners there, and he went in the store. He walked in, Fred's '85. He got the cataracts. You know, he can't see quite as well as he used to. So he told the attendant, "I need to buy me a set of cowboy boots. It's going to make me stand out amongst my peers." The attendant, the salesman there, he said, well, I got just the thing for you, sir. And he goes in the back room, up in the warehouse, up on the third shelf up. We got to get the big ladder out to get it down off there. Top shelf, we've been sitting there collecting dust since 1989. There's a special custom-made pair of cowboy boots. You remember Brent Michaels of Poison? Brent Michaels was high on cocaine and hookers one night in Houston, and he ordered these boots special made for cavities. But then the next night was New Orleans, and he took it off, and he never came back, and the boots been sitting there ever since. They've been trying to sell them, but nobody had the balls to buy them wearing these cowboy boots. So the salesman drug them out, and he let Fred try them on. These things were made like a glove, you know, they, they just fit perfect. And they were, they were kind of shiny, you know, they had yellow uppers there, and ostrich leather, and had those little, one of those little shiny toe, silver toe things on them, you know. And on the outside, they have the outline of red, white, and blue of Texas, you know, the Lone Star and such. And on the inside, they have like a, a chartreuse cactus growing with an orange moon and a green coyote howling at the moon. And then to top it all off, I swear to God, they have red and yellow dingle balls all around the top, you know. Fred fell in love immediately, and he knew he'd, he'd come to the right place. He tucked them Dickies and Dickies jumpsuit and he tucked that right into the top, let them dingo balls bounce all over and went back to the elder community expecting some really good attention when he got there. Now usually when you walk into the elder community and you walk past the nursing station, you say hello. I mean, even if you got a little barbecue sauce from lunch on your shirt, they notice, you know, and they say, Fred, you know, you need to change your shirt there, you know, you straighten yourself up. So. He walked in with these electrified, you can see them from Space Cowboy Boots that he bought at Cavender's. He says, howdy y'all. They look up and say, hi Fred, how you doing? And they turned back to their charting and they didn't even notice his brand new cowboy boots. He felt really bad. So he figures, well, hell, I'll, I'll try again. I mean, they're busy and such. So he went down to the sunroom where his old buddies, they're playing peanut there. He walked in, he spread his legs wide and he said, hey fellas. How y'all doing? And they were all playing peanut on real busy. They were trying to bid 67. And that's hard to do with four, no, four hand peanut, you know. They just said, hi Fred, how you doing? They didn't really pay too much attention to him. Damn near broke his heart. Well, he very well hell. My girlfriend, maybe she'll pay attention to me at least. So he goes down to his girlfriend's room down in the women's wing. And he walks in, he spreads his legs wide. Says, hey baby, you know this anything new about me? She peers over the top of her large print readers digest magazine that she's peering at, and she looks over at it, she looks up now, she goes back to her magazine, she says, nah, I don't I don't know a damn thing. Now he's getting really frustrated, man. He's trying to get a little attention. He spent $450 on his damn cowboy boots. He says, I'll show her, damn it. He goes in her bathroom and starts taking off all her clothes. Takes off his bigger tone feet, has his sky blue dickies jumpsuit, takes off his white beater t shirt, takes off his boxer shorts, takes off his Ted hose. You know about Ted hose, don't you? They increase circulation, I'm telling you. Strips himself down and he's wearing nothing but them cowboy boots and Mother Nature. Steps back out into her room and he spreads his leg wide with his Johnson hanging down towards the floor there and he says, Hey, baby. You know there's anything new about me now? She peers back over the top of her magazine again. She looks up and down and says, no, I don't notice anything new. Just like last night when you come creeping, there's your Johnson hanging down at the floor. He's really pissed off. He says, baby, the Johnson ain't just hanging down towards the floor. It's staring at my brand new Cavender's Cowboy boots. And she didn't 
minutes of me, she stopped and she said, You should have bought a hat. Yeah. 